Hey, in this lecture, I'm going to explain how you can adjust the position of single items along the main axis using the good old technique of margin auto. Because these various justify content values are nice and handy, but they don't always do what you want them to do. For example, I might not want to have the items spread around the container like this. Perhaps I want the home and search over on the left hand side and the logout over on the right hand side. And that's not something you can do with any of the justify content values alone. So let's actually remove justify content so that they're all squeezed together on the left hand side as that's the default layout. Now what I want to do is move the logout item over to the right hand side. And as that forces us to target that item itself, I've given all three items class names, home, search and logout. So to change the logout item, we'll simply target it and give it a margin on the left hand side and set that to auto. And as you can see, that pushes the logout item all the way over to the right hand side. And this space here now is the margin left of the logout item. So this is normally how I position single items along the main axis. If we wanted to have both the logout and the search item over on the right hand side, we could simply target the search item instead. So if I remove it from logout, it'll be placed in the default layout. And then I'll simply give the search a margin on the left side instead. And as the search is before the logout in the markup, it'll push the logout as well to the right hand side when it adds a margin to its own left hand side. Now I want to give you a little task. First, I'm going to remove this one here and I'm going to set the justify content to flex end, pushing all the items over to the right hand side. What I want you to do now is to make the home item rather appear here on the left hand side. I want you to do it by adding a margin to the home item. So go ahead and do that. Then just resume and come back to the screencast when you've managed to do it. And then I will show you the solution as well. Okay, so hopefully you pause the screencast and write that out. What you need to do is to give this home item margin on its right hand side. So we'll do margin right and set that to auto and boom, that pushes the home item from this space here to this space here. And this is now the margin. Okay, that was it for this lecture. In the next one, you're going to learn a really cool property called Flex, which allows you to have responsive width on the items themselves. So I'll see you there.